go in there for a bit. Leave it about 15. <laughs> Leave it about 15 minutes. Oh, I must say, I'm uh, tremendously excited by all this. My sister's got this bed linen. Oh, yeah. Does she live in a travel tavern? No, uh, she'd like to. It's nice, isn't it? No, it's a bloody nightmare. Is that for me, Alan? That? Oh, God, no! No, I always put my money there, Leave me. No, it's, 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 if it was, you know, you could, you could add a zero to that. Seven pounds six, isn't it? Seventy quid? Well, no, double it. Oh, it's still cheap. I'm not haggling. I mean, I... <laughs> I was trying to pay you a compliment. Unless I've grossly misread the situation. It was my understanding in the lift that uh, no money would change hands. I'm all yours. <laughs> uh, do you mind if I turn the light out? Well, can't you just dim it a bit? Yeah, OK. A uh, bit more. Uh, <laughs> how's that? Yeah, that'll do. Right. Let battle commence. <laughs> Do you, uh, do you like me doing that? Shall I, shall I do it more quickly or shall I maintain the same speed? That's fine. Right. Shall I, uh, shall I move on to the other one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's lovely. That, that's first class. <laughs> that, that is superb. Oh, there you go, it's all happening. Um, Jill, I'm afraid I have no sheaths. No what? Sheaths, uh, 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 prophylactics, you know, rubber johnnies. Actually, uh, be being your age and everything, there's probably no need for them. Right? <laughs> I I'm, I'm talking about the men menopause. Oh, 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 Jill, you know your onions. Oh, do you, do you mind if I talk? Uh, does it help me uh, keep the wolf from the door, so to speak? <laughs> Jill, what do you think about the pedestrianisation of Norwich City Centre? Uh, I'll be honest, I'm dead against it. I mean, uh, people forget that traders need access to Dixons. Um, yes. They, they, they do say it'll help people in wheelchairs. Jill, whoa, Jill, Jill, what are you doing? For God's sake, Jill, what are you doing? Jill, God's sake. I just thought I'd call chocolate mousse over you. You've got it on the bed sheets, you've got it you've got on the dressing gown, you've got it on the balance. On the what? The skirt thing round the side of the bed. I thought it'd be erotic. Oh, Jill, mousse from a bowl is very nice, but to put it on a person is demented. <laughs> Come on, it's only a bit of chocolate. It may be chocolate to you, Jill, but to an unwitting member of staff, this could look like some sort of dirty protest against the <laughs> standard of service in the hotel, which I happen to think is very good. I mean, it's not five star, but it's certainly competitive. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yes? Is everything all right, Mr. Partridge? You heard a bit of commotion. No, no, it's fine. Oh, right. Um... Do you know you've got chocolate in your face? Yeah, I've just been eating some mousse. <laughs> oh, right, well, fine. <laughs> right, well, you've, you've, you've missed a bit. Deal with it later. Right. <laughs> hey, it reminds me of this time, you know, we'll, we'll camouflage ourselves up because we're doing jungle exercises, yes, Michael, right? Can we talk about Belize, this in the morning? But, uh, well, no, I won't burn in the morning because I'm dealing late well, snow, right? So I don't come on until about two o'clock. So, you know. Well, well, you know, when the boat comes in. Oh. <laughs> uh, now, uh, oh, off. Hi. OK. <laughs> Message understood, sir. Well, stand down, Atties. You're not in the army anymore. <laughs> Across the ooze to the Waveney, this is Radio Norwich.